Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm at Tampa, Florida at the YGP Finals, and I'm with Anne, who is from Japan, and we're gonna be doing a pointy fitting with her. She's quite young, so we want something that's a little bit soft. We're almost using it as a demi point shoe. A lot of people don't use demi point shoes. It's basically like a point shoe with no shank in it, and we use that as a transition step to get to point. However, since a lot of places you can't get demi point shoes, we start them off in something very, very, very soft, so that we can use it at the bar to make it feel like point shoes. Because Anne is in the pre-competitive age, she is not competing on point, she is still competing on flat, and we're just gonna take a look at her feet and see what works with her. I'm noticing that Anne's feet are quite wide, right across the metatarsal, but she's very, very shallow. So what that means is that from the floor to the top of her foot, she's very skinny this way. Beautiful feet, oh my goodness. So I'm actually touching her feet right now, and she's very strong, she has a lot of muscles in the bottom of her foot, which is very unusual for this age, but incredibly strong dancer, beautiful feet naturally. So I'm just making sure that the toe pad is covering all of her knuckles. We're going to start out with something pretty thin. For demi point shoes, you don't really need to have toe pad that is that thick. A lot of people prefer not to wear toe pads at all just to get your feet and your skin a little bit more ready to go on point. But in Anne's case, we're going to use toe pads just because she doesn't have a lot of fat on her foot and her skin is very thin, so I just don't want her to get some blisters on the top of her knuckles. For most people who are going on point for the first time, we wanna make sure that she's one, getting over on her platform, Two, she's able to roll through, and three, she is stable and safe. Her second toe is longer, and it has a slight tendency to curl. Sometimes you wear your shoes a little bit too short, not long enough for your second toe, so that's pretty common. And the knuckle on the second toe is actually sticking out a little bit more than her other ones, so I wanna make sure that we're wearing a shoe that will protect that as well. This is beautiful. You can see that there's nothing that is gaping. Step up onto both feet. Beautiful. So I'm making sure she's getting over her box. She's gonna be able to roll through because that vamp is quite short. She looks like she's nice and stable. She's holding herself up. Even though she doesn't weigh anything, she is bending the shoe quite a bit. So this is something that I want to see when she's just working at the bar. There are ways to do pre-point work and demi-point work with real point shoes. Just make sure that they're soft enough so that you can roll through. But at the same time, you want to make sure that it's stable enough so that you're not wobbling anywhere. Demi-point shoes don't have to be as perfect as point shoes because it's not as dangerous. You have both hands on the bar. You're not really going on point and you're just working through your feet and you're really just trying to build the muscle there. So I want roll through that will allow articulation through every part of your foot. That's happening with Anne. She really doesn't need any help from me. She's doing fantastic. Good luck to you at YAGP this weekend. <laughs>